Hey everyone, Sam again, and we're gonna do the all important, well, not really important, but the all requested benchmarking. Yep, I'm gonna do the benchmarking tests. So, here's the Motorola Razor, courtesy of gunmobile.com, and let's have a quick look. So, what I'm doing at the moment, my internet's currently down, so I'm uh, using <laughs> I'm using my Galaxy Nexus as a Wi-Fi point to run this, so should work. So here we go. So we'll do the quadrant because everybody asks for quadrant, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Everybody wants to know what the quadrant scores coming at. So I'm going to show you what they do coming at. So if it wants to load up here, so here we go. So we'll run the full benchmark. And off she goes. So we'll do what we normally do. We'll let it uh, run its course and come back in just a couple of seconds. Right, so welcome back. And we've got the benchmarking results here. And it gets... Dun, dun, dun. An impressive 2,790. If we can just get... There we go. As you can see, it does get a pretty impressive score in terms of the specifications. It is running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor with one gigabyte of RAM. So that's the quadrant benchmark. A lot of people are keep asking for that. So there you go. Next one we're going to do is the Antutu benchmark. So this is one that um, I've been doing myself. Um, as you can see, I've done a test on it previously, but I'm going to do another test for you guys just now. So. Let's run the test, leave it all as default, start a test. And the reason why I picked this one is because this one seems to be a lot more accurate than a lot of the other benchmarking applications. So once again, I'm going to leave it here and we shall cut back at the uh, end of it. So stay tuned and we shall be right back. Right, so welcome back. So as you saw there, the test is now completely finished. So we'll take you through some of the results here. So the RAM gets 800. CPU integer gets uh, an impressive 1611. The float point 1262. TD graph 2D graphics even 297. 3D graphics 1160. The database 490. The SD card write speed in a very very impressive 1940. 19.4 even, getting my words mixed up here, 19.4 megabytes per second. Uh, the read speed, again, an impressive 28.6 megabytes per second. And obviously it's running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core with a total score of 5963. So for the specifications of the phone, a lot of people are saying that oh, you know, it seems very underpowered with the, the kind of like the the GPU and the CPU that they've put into this, but this benchmarking and my overall, you know, kind of playing with the phone, very, very solid. So we're going to go to our final bench, one of our final benchmarks. We're going to do the all standard Limpack. I have got another one I'm going to run on this one for you. So we'll just do this first of all. So once again, single thread. We are getting 50.32 with a 1.67 single thread again 52.725 with 1.59 seconds and last we've got 51.463 with a 1.63 seconds so let's then run the multi-threaded one now multi-threaded one brings in an impressive 85.444 with a time of 1.97 run it again this time we're getting 76.079 with the 222, 2.22. And last but not least, we get 77.548 with a time of 2.17 seconds. So again, those scores there um, are pretty impressive. Uh, they're not as impressive as some of the handsets out on the market. But in terms of you know the, the performance in this phone, that's very impressive. Right. So as you saw there, they're the benchmark and the Motorola Razr. If you've got any questions with regards to that, hit me up down below. You know what to do. Ask me any questions as, um, as you want. 
I've got a browser benchmark on its way as well, using a new um, a new benchmarking tool I've been using called Valemo. So I'll be including that in all my browser benchmarking from now on. Anyway, people, I'm going to get off now. We've got any questions, you know what to do. Hit me down below, um, as I've said twice now. And don't forget to check out gunmobile.com. And thank you once again for them to supplying this for me for the review. Anyway, I shall see you in my next video. Cheers.